Hey, welcome to AI Late to Class. This is a place where you can learn all about AI news and how to use the latest AI technology if you've only just heard cool things about AI. Today I'm going to show you how to use the ATI 1 2.1 model, the trajectory motion or um, guided motion uh, layer. As you can see in this army man here that's moving, from the left to the right, we just use an arrow just to make him move. So I'm going to show you through that now. Right, first of all, we're going to look at this workflow in Comp for UI. Um, this is the one from the one video wrapper workflow site. Of all I've changed is just my settings for this computer. I've put them on FP8s. Um, and left that in there so this is a low VRAM computer this is uh, 16 gig VRAM so first we upload our file we can just go to our folder and just drag it in when you're dragging things in drag them to the top don't drag them onto the photo drag them to the top so it's got the blue around otherwise it'll start to try and reload a new workflow um, or try and change the window so second we look at our sizing we've got 832 by 480 which is the normal one sizing uh, you can do more or less than that it's just the sort of how much your computer can handle i've let that divisible by 16 there um it seems to work fine on this computer now this is what's different now usually we do 81 frames but for this particular model we've got 121 i don't uh, mess with that if after generation as you can see it's got fixed there you probably want to change that to randomize otherwise you get the same thing going on and up here just a normal clip h i'll have all the links to these models down below um we have the text encoder the umt5 there the one VAE and this is what's probably different than normal is the cause vid 14b um, I leave it as strength of 0.3 seems to work okay of course it's better if it's not on at all because you have better quality but it will take longer um, I have block swap on 20 on this computer 10 didn't work for me so I pushed it up to 20 and it worked um and i don't have torch compile i don't think this model which is a 3080 rtx does not support torch compile well it doesn't seem to work anyway um there's my one ati uh there the, the model that makes this work so anyway we're going down here with don't worry about that 81 frames there because it's overridden by the other one um, down here is where we actually have our arrow there so that's our spline pointing what we want to do and when we look around here we have our prompt and I said army man walking through a jungle lifts his gun up while camera zooms in slightly so it seems to do that not too bad um, because of the cause of it I've got the steps at 10 and the CGF at 1 if we take that cause vid up, we have to push that up to probably 20 and above on the steps. And probably the CGI up maybe 6. Um, the, our tracks visualizer here. So as you can see when our output there. We don't really want that thing on our final video. Because that's going to look stupid. So we will, if you push this here and do that and run again it doesn't actually run the whole thing as it just puts that video out and removes that when we run it and that's pretty much all we need to know on that side of it so what we need to do if you haven't got confident ui installed go to this website there it's a whole lot of stuff there <laughs> you probably want to go down to where it's got get started of desktop version windows portable and manual my one is actually the windows portable i do have a manual install as well and a version on pinocchio as well so i've run into errors on all of them and for whatever workflow i need i use 
which one works. So the Windows Portable seems to work the best for me out of all of these. Um, then we can go to the actual ATI website. You can have a look through there. Don't need to download anything from here. Uh, that's only if you're running it manually and not on ConfiUI. But you can have a look through here and obviously just scroll down and look at the examples because you can get ideas what it can do. Um, as you can see, there's multiple really cool versions of what this can do. Uh, we, yeah, I'm not going to go any more into that. So the next thing you probably need to do is once you've got your workflow downloaded and your Confi UI working, is go over to the Kaiji. I don't even know how to say it uh, on here and have a look and this guy's got I've pretty much got all these models didn't really want to load my computer up with them but end up finding out that I need to use them for all sorts of things so you probably will end up getting them all um, they all have purpose uh, so the one we need for particularly is only two out of here um, we need the ATI um, one model and we need the Causvid LoRa. So the Causvid LoRa is there. That's the version two, is the one that I've got. Um, and I can't find it now, but our ATI, there it is. There yeah, I'm using the FP8 version. Uh, I think I'm using that one up I look at my workflow just come back in here and you want to make sure that you got the one so it's the e4 m3 so coming back into here and we got the e4 m3 version um that one there 17 gig so even though my computer is 16 gig vram with a 64 system RAM, it's giving me, if we look at my system monitor, that's pushing me out to 110 gig of RAM that I've got usage. Always good to upgrade your system RAM when doing these things. It's made a massive difference to what I can do. So once we've got those models, we need to put them in the right places. Um, in my computer in Confi UI, you put the ATI in the diffusion models and then for the LoRa, the CauseVid, put it in the LoRa folder. When we go back up here to get the other ones, obviously we need that um, UMT5 text encoder. So download that and we will probably be putting that in a clip. Is it the clip folder? Yes, we put it in the clip one. And when we come back on here, the VAE will end up download that one. And that's going to end up going in our VAE folder. And then there's one more file there, which is the clip vision H folder. Clip vision H actually goes in the clip vision folder not the clip folder um, and that's all the files that we need so um, once we go back once we've got all of those in you have to restart config UI again have a look in here and we have we put once we put our photo in here of what we want I actually did that on Google's image in 4 uh, using WISC, which is one of the best text image images at the moment. Um, move along to here, and even though it's in there, you actually have to bring it in here too. So you go back to your file and drag it. And once I don't want to do that, see it doesn't show up. So we probably want to come back down, grab this, and then we want to move it into there like that. And then we have our arrow where we want to move it. So for this guy, I'll click there, bring that there, put it on him around there somewhere. And that 
should be moving him. That's how we want it. If we right click on here, we should have add new spline. This is if we want to add camera motion as well. So as you can see, it does this big arrow right across. And so on here, then I would put that up here somewhere. And we have a look in here. We've got another little blue thing here that'll move it up here and move it along. And that will go there and that should, that should get us our camera motion. It seems to pick up things very well if it knows that it's on a character and you've got one across the top, it knows that that's what camera movement does. And that's all we really need to do here. Um, we've... I'll just, once we run that, it'll come through and make sure you have your thing off here so that we don't get that ugly line. And that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, if you like what, if that's enough that you need to know, uh, otherwise you can ask me in the comments, um, like, subscribe buy a coffee, anything like that, it's all to help. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see you next time.